And welcome back to Surreal Zero and this is Let's Play Tales of Destiny. Somehow we managed to get to Janus with the help of Gar. It's a border town between Alba's Cottage and Senegal where Stan is supposed to go. Anyway, let's go exploring. Oh, that looks like an armor shop. Welcome to my humble shop. Yeah, looks humbling enough. Yeah, that long sword is more powerful than the current weapon that Stan is currently using. But we're just gonna go buy the armor because I don't want to replace Dimlos. Because without Dimlos, Stan won't be able to cast any magic. Yeah, we know it's a humble shop. You said it already when we first got here. And we gotta talk about lens hunters. Yeah, basically lens hunters are those that hunt for lens. We'll go dirt into that as we go further in the game. And this is the tavern. Yeah, there's a lot of colorful people in this place. Yeah, you gotta love the reaction on Stan on that one. Yeah, that soldier down there is pretty much wasted on alcohol. If you're playing the game for the first time, I suggest talking to everyone at least twice to get the real feel and enjoyment of the game. Because there's a ton load of dialogue and colorful characters to be found and side quests aplenty. Yeah, that guy is sitting on that girl. And over here, we get the Black Wings Lens Hunter Gang. Basically, these guys are sort of like the big and Wedge of Final Fantasy. They have very little to do with the plot, but whenever they are around, they actually adds a little comedic flavor and here we have Millie ha <laughs> Leonardo Di Carpaccio yeah that's a pun for an actual actor in real life this game has a lot of puns that are based on real life and that one of the things that makes this game so fun to play. Hey, civilized people. Give them a few more barrels and you're gonna see how well civilized they're gonna get. And we got some talk about Prince of Pandaria exploring the world. Most of these dialogues are actually game related. Yeah, we're not gonna go stay at the inn because Tan's HP is currently full. We're just gonna go explore the place. Oh, 
Well, at least you've got constant customer. Even if most of the customers are drunk people. And we got more talk about that Prince of Pandarian. Yeah, I could imagine why those two are in trouble. Oh, and it would appear that this man has lost his passport and he won't be able to get out of town without it. That girl is sick from the weather. Yeah, it's been snowing like crazy since we got here. And here we have Kitty. Yeah, some girl in a cat suit. We'll encounter more of those girls in cat soup as we go further in the game. Uh-oh. It would appear that we can't go through there without a passport as well. I don't recall getting a passport when we first got here. How the heck are we supposed to go to Senegal now? Let's go ask that guy at the second floor again. Maybe he could help us with our passport problem. I really love how the dialogue are pretty well done on this game. Anyway, let's go back to the tavern and see if we could find someone that could help us with our passport issue. Nope, I was hoping to find a new person sitting in that tavern. Guess not. Got another shop down here. Green gel and one lemon gel. Yeah, I guess this shop sells those gel things that we use to store HP and TP. Yep, and they got a life bottle too. Anyway, we're gonna go stock up on these gels before we continue on.
Sadly, Tank could only carry 15 of those things. Nope, nothing there. Oh wait, wrong way. We gotta, yeah, this house. Oh, it's the soldier station. Oh, it would seem that that soldier found that lost passport from that person on the second floor. Yeah, it, it could seem that we can't go out that way either. Let's go back to the guy. Maybe after we told him that we found his passport, he'd help us get a passport as well. We get out of town and get to Senegal finally. I don't recall the guard giving us a passport. Well, I thought we're a criminal. Well, that isn't much of a help. Let's go see if we can find someone else that could help us to get a passport. Yeah, Senegal is going north and Pandaria is going south. Yeah, I really love the reaction on that innkeeper. Whenever Stan talks to Dimla, nobody hears Dimla's talk. So basically, when they see Stan, he's more like talking to himself. Yeah, and we just killed someone! Way to go, Stan! Way to go! Oh, she's still alive! So after we encountered the pink-haired girl, we encountered a red-haired one. Yeah, this game has a cartoonish look to it, so don't be surprised if you've seen a character with green hair or blue hair or basically all the colors of the rainbows. I don't mind. I really like how this game is drawn anyway. That girl name is Mary Argent. She has a friend trapped in some ruin and we just volunteered to help her
Yeah, never abandon anyone in need. And never talk to the sword when you're in front of someone else because that would make you look like an idiot. Anyway, according to Mary, we should go right. So basically, we're gonna retrace our steps a little bit. And we got a battle too right after getting out of town. It would seem that Mary is using a sword weapon. I wonder if Mary has a talking sword as well. Anyway, I'm gonna go save up because I don't want to repeat everything that we've done in that town again in case we die here. Anyway, I think that's just about enough time we have for this video. So we're gonna go save it here. On the next bit, we'll continue on and try to see if we could save Mary's friend. This is the series. Signing off.